Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about lower limb reconstruction. Lower leg wounds are treated depending on their extent location on the lower limb and whether an infection is present or not. When there's an exposure to underlying bone, closure of the wound usually requires movement of tissue into the area. Depending on the location of the wound, local or adjacent tissues may be used. But in the majority of cases, tissue from another part of the body, usually the tight, needs to be imported and reconnected to the blood vessels. Lower limb reconstructive surgery aims to restore function and aesthetics to the foot, ankle, and leg. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding lower lip reconstruction. Today we have Dr. Kim, who is a leading doctor at Hanyang University Hospital. He's going to discuss with us everything about lower limb reconstruction from an experienced medical point of view. Hi, Ume. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you'll be updated with our new releases. Good afternoon, uh, Professor Kim. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yes, greetings. Nice to meet you. So we'll start by talking about the lower limb reconstruction. So what is a lower extremity reconstruction? Lower extremity refers to the lower limbs. If someone is a victim of an accident or cancer and requires rebuilding the damaged limbs, we call it lower extremity reconstruction. This is a branch of cosmetic surgery. Alright, so when is it necessary? Mostly right after an accident occurs. In the case of a serious accident, we operate right away. Sometimes as the recovery occurs, there is a need to alleviate the patient for comfort. Sometimes the surgery is delayed as the need for a part is delayed. There is immediate reconstruction which is when undergoing surgery right away. Then there is delayed reconstruction for a variety of reasons. So where does the flap come from? Flap is when we use tissue from another part of the body. They are tissues with capillaries. For example, I take the tissue from the side rib cage area. For breast reconstruction, I take tissue from the belly area. For legs, I take tissue from the thighs. So there are three or four places we commonly take flaps to perform the reconstruction. So will the tissue that is taken will grow back? It would be wonderful if the tissue we take simply grows back. However, that is not reality. In cases where the tissue taken leaves an empty cavity, we sew the tissue in the area to shrink and attach in order to remove the empty cavity created. Also, when I take tissue from the belly area, it does not mean the tissue grows back. So after the surgery, how long does the patient have to stay in bed? Depends on what part of the body underwent surgery. But for example, if we operate on the leg, we expect on average one week bedside in order to recover safely. So for one week, does he have to be in the hospital or he can just rest at home? Depends on what type of surgery he just had. Lower extremity reconstruction tends to be a significant trauma. About three weeks rest is needed with one week being bedside at the hospital. So how long does it take to start looking normal again? Generally speaking, we may end up with the inflammation and a resulting shape that is not ideal initially. However, after about three months, the shape may look as originally desired. So going back to the surgery, how long does the surgery take? Depends a great deal on which surgeon did the reconstruction. A flap reconstruction surgery generally lasts a good six to eight hours. But here at the lower extremity reconstruction department, we can do it at about two and a half hours, faster than others. So for during the surgery, for the part where there are bones, what is usual for the bone reconstruction or what so, material are used? When bone becomes damaged or lost, it has to be replaced. We can use a replacement bone from a donor. Or we can use some bone portion from the patient. For example, there are many cases where the fibula is used for a tibia replacement. 
Okay. So with the surgery, are there any risks or dangers that can come with the surgery? All surgeries are accompanied with risk, such as infections, bleeding, etc. Flap surgeries tend to be long, so it may be difficult for the patient. There are cases where we lose the transferred tissue completely due to clotting in the infected area. That is the greatest risk. So after the surgery and uh, during, if there's any treatment that can be done after the surgery or any rehabilitation, for example. Rehabilitation can only start when the reconstruction is fully healed. If there are no bones involved, normally at about three weeks, the patient can start walking with no aid. While walking like that, the rehabilitation happens concurrently. But if there was bone loss or damage that needed reconstruction, the time required for the bones to settle in place takes a long time. There are situations where three to six months is not enough. From three to six months. Okay. So today the doctor explained in details everything related to lower limb reconstruction and extremity reconstruction surgery that can be life-changing for people whose hands, arms, or legs have been infected by cancer, an infection, a traumatic injury, a congenital uh, defect, or other conditions. Thank you for joining us once again to that Cloud Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll respond to you as soon as possible.